Hello, welcome back key developers. Uh, in this lesson, I am going to cover RPAC. Uh, I have decided to uh, make RPAC lesson uh, into two parts. The first part will I will explain the database side of it and what are the tables that we have to use uh, and what they mean and what are their role in the RBAC implementation. So uh, let's start with the database and add the tables that we need. Uh, I, have, uh, I have gotten the SQL file uh, that we need uh, so that we can add the tables. We have three main four actually main tables, the auth rule, auth item, auth item child and auth assignment. So let's add these to the database. I'll copy and I will add to the database. Uh, I don't worry. I will send. I will give you this uh, this SQL so that you can use it yourself as well. Uh, uh, maybe I will put it in the description. Maybe I will put it somewhere else. But uh, you will get hold of it. Anyways, so let's let's take a look at the four tables that we have to implement the RBAC. Okay, so we have four main tables: the auth assignment, the auth item, auth item child, and the auth rule. For now, let's forget about auth rule. We don't want that. This is necessary for if you are uh, specifying any specific rules for a particular uh, a particular assignment or particular rule, uh, particular item. Uh, for now, let's uh, we need to look at the auth item, auth item child, and auth assignment. So let's take a look at auth item and what are the columns that they have. Of course, there is a name of the auth rule, uh, auth name. Uh, auth item name, the type, the description, the rule name, data and these two fields over here. Only we have to fill out the name and the type uh, so that we can get the auth item. Let's for example let's give a rule so uh, give a permission to the branches. For example a particular user should have this auth item. Let's create that create branch create branch is our item and type is one uh, and the description allow a user to add a branch okay so our rule let's leave it blank leave it blank and leave it blank and let's insert okay now we have gotten a record create branch this is our item okay without we have to have our item in order to specify that in the RBAC this is the first step okay and the next step is we have to assign this auth item authentication item to a specific user for example that is being done in the auth assignment table if you look at this you have the item name the item name resembles the auth item that we added earlier let me open this in another tab and this in another tab okay so uh, item name is the name that we add here create branch for example if you see the relational view you see that the auth item this is a foreign key for the auth item names column so in the assignment section in the auth assignment we have to specify sorry an item name and a user id a particular user in the database okay so and we have a created at time created at column as well so let's insert a value uh, an auth assignment to this table as well insert select the create branch the branches that we just auth item that we just added and a user id we have to have a user id uh, let's put two as the id and let's give it blank okay now we have created an auth assignment. This means the user ID2 has the permissions to create a branch in our application. Okay, so we can have we can add a few more rules. Let's add another, say, create company, and the type is one, and description allows user to create a company. And go okay now now we have another table that we haven't taken advantage of which is the auth item this table has a parent and a child for example 
let's assume that we want to allow uh, let's refresh this sorry this one not that one I want our item table where is our item table okay so we have two rules two auth items authentication items let's assume that we want to assign both these auth permissions to a particular user to do this we can use the auth uh, the auth item child for example if we insert a parent for example we have to create another item uh, let's say uh, in the auth items table in the auth items table uh, let's add a uh, rule called admin rule called admin and give it a type as one and admin can uh, create branches and create companies okay let's save this okay now we have three auth items now let's go to the auth item uh, auth item child here now here we can assign let's refresh this again and go to the insert here we can assign admin has the ability to, to, to create a branch and the admin has the ability to create a company let's go okay now we are inserted two rules now in the auth assignment section we can assign a particular user let's say the user id is for example the doing it easy username the id is one so we can assign we can assign um, we can assign the admin role for the particular user id one even if we add this row that means admin can admin which is the user user one which is doing it easy which is the username of doing it easy has the ability to do add item name admin this means he has the ability to create a branch and create a company both can be done by the admin okay so this is a simple explanation of how the database side of the RBAC handles now it's really simple to use this in application there is some configuration files that you have to change and there is a few couple of lines that you have to add in every control action whether to give the permissions whether let's in the control action we check if he have if this particular user has the uh, permission or does not have the permission okay that will be covered in the next lesson so stay uh, stay tuned for that and please share my tutorials if you like them uh, and comment of any problems that you might face uh, I will reply them I will every reply everyone single comment so subscribe to the channel and have fun and have a good day bye